Hey, hey, Spring Lafay, Simple Tarot. Okay, um, Aquarius, this is for you. Um, this is something different. You know, I've never used these cards on a reading online, you know, or through a video before. Uh, these are medicine cards, actually, um, through animals, you know. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to actually do their layout. They do have layouts that you can do, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not drawn to do that. I'm drawn to take, simply take two cards and then read for you from the actual book. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm um, going to do what I feel. Um, so I'm going to take two cards for Aquarius. I only want two, Spirit. May I please have the first card for Aquarius? The first card for Aquarius, Spirit, please. Okay. There we go. Can I have the second card, please, Spirit? May I please have the second? The second card for Aquarius. Not sure about that one. I'm going to have to wait and see what I feel. Okay. We've got our two. Okay. There's three. Uh, so this may be quite a, a long reading. It's according to what I'm drawn to read from the book. So we have a number 43, which is Spider. You take a look at that. Then we have a number 17, which is Mountain Lion. And then we have a number 12, which is Porcupine. So I'll let you look at those. And then we're going to go from there. So we have Spider, Mountain Lion, and Porcupine. Okay, I'm going to start with Spider. I'm going to read from the book. Okay. And I'm only going to read what I feel I'm supposed to read. So, yeah. What I feel like it's trying to tell you. Okay. We've got Spider. Okay. Spider. Weaving webs of delight. Weave me a peaceful world. Carrying creation in your web. Waiting to be unfurled. So they have a little poem with them. Spider weaving webs of delight. Weave me a peaceful world. Carrying creation in your web. Waiting to be unfurled. Okay. 43 spider, you know, weaving. That's what it says. Okay. Spider wove the web that brought humans the first picture of of the elf alphabet. The letters were part of the angels of her web. Dear asked Spider what she was weaving and why all the lines look like symbols. Spider replied, Why dear, it is time for Earth's children to learn to make records of their progress in their earth walk. Dear answered Spider, but they already have pictures that show through symbols the stories of their experiences. Yes, Spider said, but Earth's children are growing more complex and their future generations will need to know more. The ones to come won't remember how to read the petroglyphs. So, it was the spider wove the first primordial alphabet. As she had woven, a dr woven the dream of the world that had become manifest. Spider's dream of the physical world had come to fruition millions of years before. Spider's body is made like the number eight, consisting of two lobe-like parts connected at the waist and eight legs 
Spider is the symbol for the infinite possibilities of creation. Her eight legs represent the four winds of change and the four directions on the medicine wheel. Spider weaves the webs of fate for those who get caught in her web and become her dinner. This is similar to humans who get caught in the web of illusion in the physical world and never see beyond the horizon into the other dimensions. The web of fate also represents a wheel of life which does not include any alternatives or solutions. It is typically human to get caught in the polarity of good or bad fortune without realizing that we can change it at any time. If we are not decisive enough about changing our lots in life, we may end up being consumed by our fears and limitations. So I feel like this card is coming out because it's time for you to look at what, what, how are you limiting yourself? You know, what, what are you fearing? What, what's holding you back? I feel like it's time to look at that. It feels very important. And then we have um, Mountain Lion, which is number 17. And the poem is Mountain Lion, O kingly leader of sleek feline form, touch my heart with courage, then sound the alarm, that I may lead with foresight, assurance bright and true, to carry on the spirit of the strength I see in you. That's beautiful. So this is about leadership. Um, you know, mountain lion can be very difficult power to a, a very difficult power totem for you to have because it places you in a position to be a target for the problems of others. You can be blamed for things going wrong or for always taking charge when others cannot. You could become the perfect justification for the insecurities of others. And, you know, this makes a lot of sense. This is an Aquarius treating. I mean, you know, uh, empaths and, and people, be, you know, people being drawn to you. Mountain lion medicine in, involves lessons on the use of power and leadership. It is the ability to lead without insisting that others follow. It is the understanding that all beings are potential leaders in their own ways. The use and abuse of power in a position or of influence are part of this great cat's medicine. By observing the graceful pounce of the mountain lion, you will learn how to balance power, intention, physical strength, and grace. This relates in human terms to the balance of body, mind, and spirit. The giant feline never wastes anything. It only kills what it needs for survival. The female lion is the hunter who graces her table in a style skin to mother energy. If mountain lion has come to you in dreams, it is a time to stand on your convictions and lead yourself where your heart takes you. If you have pulled the card of mountain lion, you may be asked to review the purpose behind your personal beliefs. You may need to discover whether or not your plans include a pride of cubs wanting to be like you or to share in your dreams. 
If you are already a leader, the question may be whether or not the time has come to push the cubs out of the cave. If you are aligned with cat medicine, you are considered to be king of the mountain and never allowed to be human or vulnerable. The pitfalls are many, but the rewards are great. So that's very interesting. Leadership. Then we had porcupine, our last card. I will read to you about this. You have to let me know if you like these or not. Okay. Porcupine. Porcupine remind me of innocence a game. With energy man a... Okay, wait a minute. I'm not seeing it right. Let me start over. Porcupine remind me of innocence a game. With every man a brother, each woman a friend. Okay, so the porcupine is about innocence. Okay, ready? The south of the medicine wheel is the place of childlike innocence and humility. It is the home of playfulness and the position of porcupine on the medicine wheel of life. Porcupine has many special qualities and a very powerful medicine. The power of faith and trust. The power of faith contains within it the ability to move mountains. The power of trust in life involves trusting that the Great Spirit has a divine plan. Your task is to find a, the pathway that is most beneficial for you and that uses your greatest talents to further that plan. Trust can open doorways to the creation of space. The space thus created allows others to open their hearts to you and to share their gifts of love, joy, and companionship. If you were to absorb, observe porcupine, you would immediately notice its quills. These quills are only used when trust has been broken between porcupine and another creature. Much like otter, porcupine is a gentle, loving creature and non-aggressive when fear is not present. It is possible to feed a porcupine by hand and never get stuck by its quills. Through understanding the basic nature of this animal, you may come to understand your own need for trust and faith and for becoming like a child again. In today's society, this is a needed reminder to honor the wonder of life and the appreciation of each new day as an adventure of discovery. Porcupine sat silently looking at a hollow log. She wondered if it was a playhouse that nature had created just for her. Porcupine envisioned all the things she could do with the log. She could climb on top and make the log roll from side to side. She could go inside and see if there were any juicy worms for her dinner. She could also scratch her back on the rough outer bark if she wanted to. Just as Porcupine was wondering what to do next, she saw Bear approaching. Bear was big and black and looking for honey. Oh, another playmate to share my log, she thought. Hello, Bear, she cooed. Do you want to play and share my log with me? Gruff, old bear snorted. 
Porcupine, don't you know that I'm too old to play? You're in my way. I'm looking for honey. Go away. Why, Bear? You're never too old to play, she replied. If you forget what it, it, it was like to be a cub, you'll always be as impatient and gruff as you are now. So, you see, this for me is about really... I feel like it's about manifesting. I feel like it's about having faith in what you want. But I feel like it's also about enjoying life and taking things back to a time when things were different or you've looked at things differently. You know, um, I feel like it's putting worry aside and having faith and having trust in what you want, knowing what you want, and allowing. So, you let me know if you like this reading or not. Um, that's what I've got for you. Until next time. Bye.